This is Ubuntu 25.10, the latest version of the Ubuntu desktop. Right now, Ubuntu 25.10 is available for testing, which is going to release next month. This update brings major changes, new features, performance improvements, and upgrades to the GNOME shell. Now, let's take a look at the only features of Ubuntu 25.10. Ubuntu 25.10 improves its experimental full disk encryption that uses TPM. While installing Ubuntu 25.10, you will see this option if your computer has TPM 2.0. When you set up a full disk encryption, you have to create a recovery key so this way you don't lose access if you forget password or update your friend there. The installer lets you choose to unlock your disk using just TPM or both TPM and a password. It also checks that your system's firmware and kernel haven't been changed to keep things more secure. Ubuntu 25.10 comes with GNOME 49 which brings UI changes and improvements. But just like GNOME 49, Ubuntu is going valent only. On the GDM login screen, you no longer have the option to switch the display server to X11. The Session Switcher button has been replaced with Accessibility Settings, which might be a downside for some users. Mutter is the core component of the GNOME desktop that handles Windows and graphics has been upgraded in many ways. Colors now look much better because it uses sRGB blending by default and it can handle more color formats. Opening windows on Valent is smoother and new tools has been added for developers. If you have a screen with variable refresh rates, the mouse cursor will now move very smoothly. It also supports color calibration through a Dbus API and manages custom display scaling with better accuracy. GNOME Shell introduces brand new media and power controls to the lock screen. If you are playing any media, the built-in player controls will be shown right on the lock screen. You can also shut down or restart your computer straight from the lock screen without logging. GNOME 49 finally adds this feature. If you don't want this option to show up, admins can turn off using the Restart Enabled setting in the screen saver. This update comes with the new default wallpapers that gives your desktop a fresh look. These stunning wallpapers make the whole experience feel more modern. In Ubuntu 25.10, the default terminal has changed from GNOME Terminal to a new application called Texas. 
It's built with modern technologies like GTK4 and LibAdvata. Tixis offers a fresh, polished look that fits perfectly with the latest GNOME desktop. It brings many features like saved sessions, pin tabs, and great support for containers such as DistroBox and Podman. With improved performance and smoother keyboard shortcuts, Tixis provides a more efficient and pleasant terminal experience. So if your terminal feels different in Ubuntu 2510, it's because Ubuntu is moving more modern and capable terminal. Now in this update, the default sudo command has been replaced with a new version called sudo rs. It works the same as before, but still you can use it to run commands as the administrator. Now this command is built using a newer and safer programming language called Rust. This change makes Ubuntu more secure because Rust prevents common bugs and security issues that can happen in older C code. Even though things look the same to the end user, it's a big upgrade behind the scenes to make the system safer and more reliable. Ubuntu 2510 brings better support for NVIDIA Dynamic Boost, a feature that shifts power between the CPU and GPU based on the workload. This means your system can give more power to the GPU when gaming or rendering and to the CPU when needed without going over the power limit. It's very useful on laptops, helping you get better performance and efficiency automatically without manual tuning. With new drivers and the NVIDIA powered service built in, it now works more smoothly out of the box. In Ubuntu 2510, Loop replaces the standard image viewer. It's built with Rust and uses GPU accelerated rendering for faster and smoother performance. Loop supports many image formats, works very well on touchscreens, and has a clean, modern design that fits perfectly with Valand. Now this update also comes with the new Linux kernel 6.17, which means better performance, improved hardware support, and a smoother experience. It brings updates for Intel and AMD graphics, support for newer laptops and chips like Snapdragon X, and better webcam compatibility. The file systems also got faster and more efficient, making things like reading and writing files a lot quicker. And that's pretty much it about Ubuntu 2510, and these are some of the new changes you can expect. Ubuntu 2510 is going to release next month. Let me know what do you think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Ryo. I will see you in the next one.